Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB Can 6 updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Rob Madden. Rob, thank you so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Rob, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right, so when we left off yesterday, the house guests were on an HOH lockdown. The feeds went down for a while. I think it was a little under two hours. And they came back around 5.30 p.m., we don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. And it seems like the house guests didn't really know what was going on either. So who freaking knows? But you know what we do know? Andrew is going. And he knows that too. But he was talking to Paris in the white room. And he says, Kayla's walking around like she's the shit. Her and her pretty boy. I guess Derek is pretty boy now <laughs> and he says that if he was staying he would put them both up if he won HOH well it's too late for that because Hamza has already said that he's gonna go after the showmance and he is way more likely to win an HOH competition I think than Andrew I think a lot of people think that so it's too little too late but um, he also says to Paris uh, I know you're close to these guys but watch out because I think Jesse's playing both sides and Paris is like I know <laughs> So am I. <laughs> you know, that's her freaking showmance. So Andrew says he's going to be rooting for the white room people. They need to stick together, pull off this flip, and make some good TV. Wake up my dog. <laughs> All right, and after they're done talking, Paris is alone, and she's like, Andrew doesn't deserve to go home, but he played really hard. Uh, so yeah, he does deserve to go home. He freaking blew it. He way overplayed in the first week. You can't do that. Um, but she's like, he's right, we need to flip now or we're not going to have the numbers anymore. She says that she may be sitting pretty right now, but she needs to make sure her allies are good. She doesn't want to see Maddie and Will up on the block. She also doesn't want to see Derek, Kayla, or Jesse up on the block, which is kind of a problem because they're on opposite sides of the house. So earlier in the week, Paris was saying that she doesn't want to win this next HOH, but now she's like, ooh, I might have to go for this and make a move myself because I want to keep both sides intact here. So she's going to go for like, you know, she's going to go for Olivia, right? <laughs> Who else would she go for? So anyway, flip to the other cam. Allie and Johnny were talking in the red room and Allie was relaying a conversation that she had earlier with Will. She's like, yeah, Will was telling me that he heard Olivia is targeting him. And Allie says, that's not true. Olivia is definitely targeting newbies. So she doesn't know where that came from. Um, and then Allie's like, wait a second, I also remember this weird thing that Paris said to Olivia. It was fishy. She said that, oh, sorry, Paris said to Olivia that she doesn't really care about Will and Maddie game-wise. She likes them as people, but like, when it's time for them to go, it's time for them to go. And that made Allie go like, hmm, that's weird, because... Paris is very close with Maddie and Will. There's no way she would just cut them off like that. So she's wondering, did she actually mean it or was she just trying to bond with Olivia? And then Allie is wondering, hmm, maybe Paris was the one who lied to Will and told him that Olivia is targeting him? I think you got something there. All right. So then Ronnie and Marin were having a game chat up in the HOH room. And it sounds like Ronnie may have changed her nominations again. Like, she hasn't flipped sides again, but she might be changing them up a little bit. She was planning on putting up Allie and Olivia, with Allie as the target. Um, they don't trust either of them. Allie does not give them the time of day, so they're like, whatever, you can go. But Marin convinces her that it's probably more important right now to break up the showmance. They're kind of like the centerpiece of that big Red Room group. So she's like, yeah, I like Hamza's idea of putting up Kayla and Olivia, and then if one of them comes down, put up Derek as the replacement. But what happens if Derek wins power veto and uses it on Kayla? <laughs> I guess they would then get rid of either Olivia or Allie. I mean, they have a, a good amount of targets to work with right now. Um, but the newbies are feeling a lot more comfortable because they have some numbers behind them now. You know, in the beginning of the week, they were... Nobody knew who, who they were. <laughs> they didn't have any buddies, but now they have at least like half the house who are saying, I'm not going to put you up next week. So they feel a lot better about that. However, Ronnie is unsure about Paris because she spends an awful lot of time with the other side, with Jesse and Kayla and Derek and all of them. So she's not really sure where she stands, and she feels like she can only give Paris limited information for now. 
I guess that's pretty fair, right? Okay, so then Ronnie and Kayla were chatting in the bathroom area, which I felt was, like, kind of weird because I don't think I've seen them game chat that much, but... Kayla's like, oh yeah, Andrew was just campaigning to me. I don't think this conversation was on feeds. If it was, I missed it. But she was like, yeah, he told me that you're coming after me and Derek. Uh, busted! But Veronica was like, no, definitely not. Like, that's crazy. And Kayla was like, yeah, I didn't believe it. Like, she knows that she and Derek are targets, of course, because they're showmans. But she was like, no, I don't think it's you. It's fine. So then they go to the red bedroom to talk. And Kayla's like, look, Derek and I want to work with you. Um, we're all targets, all three of us, so we should stick together. And Ronnie is like, yes, that makes sense. So then Andrew comes in to campaign again. And he's basically like, Hams is better than me. He's younger than me. Why are you going to keep him over me? And then he's saying, you know, I'll be loyal to you. I'll do whatever you want. If you keep me, I'll sit on the block. If I win HOH, I'll do whatever you want. No. Come on. Are they really supposed to believe that? Are you serious? I mean, I give Andrew credit because he was doing a lot of campaigning yesterday. And uh, that's really tough to do when you know you're probably going home. But his arguments are just not very convincing with his track record. So Andrew leaves. And then uh, they continue their conversation. And Kayla's like, you're not my target. And I think it would be a waste to take out somebody else's target. So I'm not after you and Veronica agrees like yeah you're not my target either I got other issues besides the showman's to take care of so then Ronnie is like okay I have something to tell you Allie was dropping you and Derek your names as targets and Kayla's like yeah I heard that too um so then Kayla was about to share something with Veronica but then oh my god Allie walks in <laughs> She must have freaking radar or something. Oh my god. So her ears must have been burning. So she breaks up that conversation. But a few minutes later, Allie and Veronica were chatting on the upstairs couches, which was really weird because they have had like no game talk so far. So Ronnie is like, I know that we've talked the least so far to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, but she says she's looking for people who will save her at this point. She came into the game with a disadvantage, coming in late. So now she's like looking for people who just want to work with her. She's going to help out whoever helps her out. She's been saying that to everybody. And um, they talk about how trust is built through actions, blah, blah, blah. Allie says real recognizes real. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite um, things, like blank recognizes blank. Just like fill in whatever you want. Um, it's fun. So then Ronnie is saying, if you win HOH and don't put me up on the block, I'm going to remember that for weeks to come you know we could set something up here and Allie's like yeah I hear that same goes for you you know if you win HOH keep me safe I'm gonna remember that too so they were pretty much wrapping up their conversation by that point but it was like done because the HOH camera showed up and everybody was like oh my god they're in a freaking house full of cameras and they get so excited for what another camera crazy so after the pictures were all done Kayla was braiding Ronnie's hair in the bathroom, and she's like, okay, so we got interrupted earlier. There's something I need to tell you. So she tells Veronica that Allie and Olivia have been saying that she's their number one target. Ah! Okay, so Ronnie was, like, kind of suspecting it already, but now she has confirmation, and Kayla's like, whoa. So that means that Allie is targeting both of us. I don't feel good about it. And Ronnie's like, yeah, and it's so crazy because Allie's been following me around. Like, what's the deal? So Kayla's like, all right, you just need to be careful. Don't trust Allie. We can't trust her. She needs to go. Okay, so switching gears a little bit, we got some more insight into Hamza's plans for next week. Hamza in the Kamza. So <laughs> we know that if he wins HOH, he wants to put up Kayla and Olivia with the potential of also getting rid of Derek, you know, if the situation arises. But OMG, he was saying, he was talking to Merritt and Will in the HOH room, and he said if someone from the other side wins HOH, he's going to ask to go up on the block again. Because he likes to hold his fate in his own hands. He wants to be able to fight for that power of veto. 
because that worked so well for him this week. Ugh, I, I don't know. Like, I get it. I get it that he wants the chance to play for that power veto, but you gotta stop volunteering to go up on the block. It's just not good. Ugh. Okay, so then Paris and Jesse were talking in the tree tunnel, one of the best places in the house, and we've seen over the last few days that Paris is obsessed with getting rid of Olivia. She's convinced that Olivia's super jealous of her relationship with Jesse, and she's gotta go. So she's like, I don't want Olivia to ruin my game. I didn't come into this house and like start playing this so it could be ruined by a guy or like some stupid girl. So Jesse's like, all right, listen. Me, Derek, Kayla, Johnny, and Erica were all talking earlier, and we're thinking that Allie should go. Or Olivia. But mainly Allie. So then Paris is like, well, I don't care what they think. I want Olivia gone. So Jesse's like, I'm down. I'm down. It's fine. But he's telling Paris, like, just freaking chill. Because if Olivia does stick around, you're going to be fine. We have the real deal. It's all good. And Paris is like, but she's been throwing my name around. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but guess what? Olivia has been saying that she would put up Marin and Hamza. She did say, you know, Paris is a target eventually, but not an immediate target for her. So then Jesse, Will, and Derek were whispering in the kitchen, and Jesse's like, all right, guys, I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard Olivia's been pitching to the girls that Paris should go. Now he heard this from Paris. <laughs> Um, and Paris heard it from Paris. So Will is like, yup, Olivia is coming after me, Paris, and Maddie. Uh, Olivia hates Paris because she hangs out with you so much, Jesse. So then they're like, oh man, we gotta tell the rest of the group about this. So, which is interesting because Will's not really in that group. Like, he's tight with Derek and Jesse, but he's not in that Red Room group. So they go to the storage room where Kayla and Johnny have been talking, and they're like, alright, Will present your info. So Will's like, oh, well, Olivia wants Paris out. <laughs> so then Johnny is like, what? Because he says he just asked Olivia who she would put up. And that's not what she said. That's not her target. But Will's like, no, it's true. And I also heard from a few people that she was also saying that Dela is dangerous and needs to be split up. So again, Johnny seems skeptical. He's like, that completely contradicts what I heard, but sure. The other people in the group are like, yeah, it all makes, it makes sense. You know, Olivia and uh, Allie have been acting really strange. So it's all adding up. It must be that. And those two are playing way too hard. And oh my God, guess who walks in again? Allie. What? And this time it was super awkward. They went completely silent. She was just like, what? Like she knew, she knew that something was up because it was super obvious. So then later Paris, Kayla, and Derek were talking in the kitchen and they're now like, okay, we need to put up Allie and Liv. One of them needs to go. They have to go up on the block together so they can't vote for the other to stay and they can't take each other off the block. And they feel like that move would be supported by enough people that they could make it happen. So Paris wants Olivia out. Kayla wants Allie out. But, you know, they're just happy to split them up either way. All right. So then Kayla was also talking about this with Veronica. Apparently these two are, like, really close now. Uh, Veronica says she's down. And she says that she would put up Allie in a pawn. And Kayla's like, oh, you know who'd be a great pawn? Olivia! <laughs> okay. Is Veronica really back on that line of thinking now, though? Because before she was saying she would go after the showman. So I don't know if those conversations with Kayla have changed her mind or if she's just saying that to Kayla's face. Who really knows what Veronica would do with power? I'm kind of curious to find out. Um, but this is where it gets a little crazy. Johnny went to Allie in the red bedroom and kind of like clued her in. So we missed the beginning of this conversation. The feeds were somewhere else. So we came into it a little late. But he, it seems like, told her what's up you know he was like asking her are you still are you like going after Dela? because then she was like um i'm really focused on taking out the newbies and she was like they were talking about that did you shut it down and johnny's like oh yeah a hundred percent definitely i would not say a hundred percent i would say 
anything over 50% is pushing it. And he was just like, I didn't hear that. And then that was pretty much it. Um, but Allie is now in panic mode hearing this because she thought that this was all dead and buried. She didn't think that she'd be dealing with this anymore. She thought that she and Dela already talked through it. So she's just like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> All right, so then Allie is telling Olivia how earlier uh, she walked into the storage room when everybody was in there and they all got quiet. And Olivia was like, oh. But then she said, maybe uh, they thought you were somebody else. Yeah, maybe. No. All right, so then Allie goes up to the HOH room to talk to Ryan she's really pissed that this is still going around the house so she's like yeah I'm just really frustrated because this is still being discussed and I'm you know you're the only person that I shared this with I've been keeping it under wraps no <laughs> maybe if it was like one of those spring roll wraps that's see-through because no she told a bunch of people about this um, but Ryan is denying telling Dela that she said that again I'm pretty sure he told Derek he definitely told Jesse, and then I think he told Derek too. Um, but Will comes in, and Allie's asking him, was Dela talking about this earlier? Were they saying that I'm targeting them? And Will is totally playing dumb here. He's just like, this is the first time hearing of it. I don't know. Are you just being paranoid? And then Allie's like, mm, no. She says that when she was talking to Ryan, she insinuated that Dela would be a threat, but she never said that they would be a target for her like week five or week six okay sure and then um she was asking will like if you hear them talking about it could you try to maybe do a little damage control for me because i need that out of their heads and will's like yeah sure no all right so then last night uh the four have nots erica hamza jesse and derek had a little bit of fun they played a prank on the rest of the house and wrapped everything in the storage room in foil. I mean, everything in the fridge, everything in the freezer, like individual tea bags. They went all out. So this morning, Veronica was the first one to find it and she was just like, I'm so confused. So she went around telling everybody and they're just like, what? Um, they're all trying to figure it out. Was this some secret task? Was this a prank? Was this Andrew's revenge? You know, what was this? So Kayla was like, mm, was this the have-nots? Yeah, girl, it was. But they did not own up to it. Um, who knows if they did later in the day. Because the feeds have been down most of the day. Um, but a few of the girls were on unwrapping duty. That took up quite some time to get everything unwrapped. And they did end up saving a lot of the bigger pieces. So they wouldn't go to waste. So that's very nice. But like I said, the feeds have been down pretty much all day for pre-eviction stuff. You know, they do their HOH lockdown and then their rehearsal for the live show. Live show. And um, that's where we're at right now. I don't know if the feeds are going to come, come back before the eviction or not. I would guess not because it's already pretty late. Um, but it's pretty clear that Andrew will be going tonight unless something insane happens. And after that, it's time for a pivotal HOH. So it's going to be really interesting to see who wins this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and until tomorrow, much love.